Time flies, I guess. Um, about before. You don't have to apologize. To you, the fact is, Lloyd is the man who killed your parents. But you must understand there are also those who were saved by Lloyd, and they owe him their lives. So do you trust Lloyd? Why do we care? It, it doesn't matter who trusts Lloyd and who doesn't. Just tell us where the sucker is. I don't see how my opinion would aid you. There you go, Rain. But drop some, uh, like, actual logic and and level-headedness into this equation, please. I don't get it. You were Lloyd's teacher and friend, right? That's right. I like Lloyd. I think that he's a person I can count on. Those facts haven't changed. But people change, for better or for worse. I don't know what kind of person Lloyd is now. My faith in him is not enough reason to contradict the accounts of those who suffered in the attack on Palma Costa. That's my opinion on the matter. I'm not sure I totally understand. Are you saying you believe us? I'm saying that I believe that the attack on Palma Costa happened, not that I personally trust you. You don't trust us? Do the two of you trust me? We haven't known each other for all that long. I think we both have yet to prove whether we deserve each other's trust. You're just being difficult. You're just being a saga foo. <laughs> Is that any way to talk to someone who might have information about Lloyd? You know where he went? If you tell me about your journey, specifically about the Centurion's cores, then I'll give you a hint. How do you know about that? How do you know about the Centurion's cores? Colette told me about you already. When you told me your names at the Human Ranch, I knew who you were. Marta, what should we do? Let's tell her. Colette wasn't out to get us, and I don't think Rain is either. Very interesting. A Knight of Ratatosk, you say? That's good for now. I'll leave the questions for later. Now then, regarding Lloyd's whereabouts, there's someone in town who says he saw him recently. Really? Yes, Colette's neighbor, Pepe. Let's go and talk to him. Irene has joined the party. Pepe Le Pew. Where Pepe is. Professor Sage! Pepe, I'm sorry to bother you, but can you tell these two about when you saw Lloyd? But aren't they out for revenge against Lloyd? That's just a big misunderstanding, I assure you. Well, if you say so, Professor Sage. Not too long ago, I saw him on a strange flying thing headed towards the tree at Ruins. It was definitely Lloyd. I'd know that spiky hair anywhere. Really? Thank you so much! Emil, let's hurry! We might still be able to catch up with him! Right! Hold on, I'd like to go with you. Why? I was Lloyd's teacher. If he really has strayed, I need to set him back on the right path again. Also, the fact that he's after the Centurion's cores troubles me. Six months ago, he was on a quest to collect X-Spheres. It was an important mission to him. He promised his father he'd complete it. His father? Do you mean Dirk? Anyway, I'm interested to know why Lloyd would abandon his quest for X-Spheres to look for Centurion's cores. Ah, that was... that was the no, I don't mean Dirk uh, deflection right there. What do you think? Let's have her come with us. With her along, we might be able to find out more about what happened in Palma Costa. Yeah. Then it's settled. I look forward to traveling with you. 
I don't actually remember. Uh, I, I remember who that character is. I don't remember um, if they are alive in this game. Um, yes. What is it? Uh, oh, it's nothing. If you have nothing to say, don't call out to others. Sorry. I thought you weren't afraid of Rain. She used her teacher voice on me. I couldn't help it. That's it? Come on, man. Oh, yeah. Marta, we should introduce Rain to Tenebrae. Oh, right. How may I be of service? A talking animal? No, a monster. Oh, you're the one Colette was talking about. Tenebi, correct? It's Tenebrae. You seem like an intelligent person. I am grateful for your assistance. You don't feel quite the same as a summon spirit. Much closer to a monster. No doubt because I employ monsters as my servants. Very interesting indeed. I'd love to learn more about it. We must talk later. It would be my pleasure. Wow, Rain is totally unfazed. Yeah, no kidding. I guess she's just naturally composed. Okay, let's see. Go to Triet Ruin. personality too too well I mean when you're in battle and sometimes even when you're not you change into a different person really I change when I'm not in battle yeah I thought you knew you said that the Knights of Ratatosk have the ability to change form in battle uh, yes it seems like I transform once I'm possessed by Ratatosk's power and Ratatosk's core is living off of Marta. Yes, it's this jewel on my forehead. I see. Take your head. Sorry to interrupt, but I sense both humans and monsters within the rubble. Perhaps we should investigate. Really? Rain, let's go take a look. It might be Lloyd. Yes, you're right. Let's go. And don't forget, uh, Rain is a maniac. You really are a fascinating creature, Tenebrae. May I touch you? If you wish. Ooh, you don't feel quite like a cat or a dog, or even Noish. I've never felt anything so soft. So this is what it's like to touch darkness. You are too kind, really. Whoa! Whoa. Your skin stretches this much? Ah, oh, this texture can only mean you're a shapeshifter. You must be quite experienced to make such deductions from a single touch. <laughs> Your way of speaking is quite interesting as well. Your interest is flattering. So, when Colette was talking about maniacs, did she mean you, Rain? It's true that Colette and the others have often accused me of being an archaeology maniac. But what about the term maniac made you think of me? Oh, it's just that Colette mentioned a friend of hers who seemed to act like a totally different person near ruins. Like a different person? Yes. She described her friend's transformation as berserk, crazy, insane, frightening, dangerous, monstrous, inhuman, reckless, disturbing, and completely out of control, if I am not mistaken. And you're saying that's what I'm like, Emil? What? She didn't... Tenebrae, stop doing things like that! <laughs> Thank you. 
I thought the two of you must be getting hungry, so I decided to put together a meal. Here you are. Wow. Um, what exactly is this? Oh, right. I almost forgot to explain. These are rice stuffed lemons. You know how sushi rice can taste so good you sometimes forget how much you've eaten? Well, I thought I'd try to create that same addictive quality in a more ordinary everyday rice dish. I started by emptying out some lemons, then filled them with rice and cooked them just like that. Last but not least, I added garam masala to punch up the flavor. It's revolutionary! Ah, uh, I am thankful that we Centurions are spared the joys of eating. I don't know. A rice stuffed lemon does not seem that bad to me. It actually sounds intriguing. Obviously, I wouldn't eat the lemon part, but lemon rice, you know, like that sounds pretty good. Man, I give up. Genus. Rain? What are you doing here? I thought the plan was to meet up back in Asalia. I'm sorry, it's just that I saw Lloyd, so I tried to follow him. Wait, who are these people with you? Ah, oh, well, you see. Wow, so that's why you all came here. So Lloyd came through here? He did, but now this monster's blocking the path. I tried attacking it, but it won't budge. I wonder how Lloyd managed to move it. Perhaps he fed the monster. W what the hell is that? I am Centurion Tenebrae. A pleasure. Oh, right. You're that Tenebi guy she mentioned. It's Tenebrae. Now then, when this particular monster is asleep, it absorbs all attacks. This thing wasn't here the last time we came to the ruins. This type of monster thrives in warm environments. It likely fled here in an effort to escape the oncoming cold. Okay, so first we need to get some food for this guy. What does he eat? His diet consists primarily of freshwater fish and monsters. Hmm. If we're looking for fresh water, the tree at Oasis isn't too far from here. If you're going to tree it, I'm coming with you. I'm tired of staring at this thing. Walk around it. Come on. Not that hard. Genus, you and Rain are siblings, right? So that would make you a half elf, too. Yeah. Though I'd think that was pretty obvious. Half elf. What? The two of you don't like half elves? I don't mind the two I've met so far. Well, then, that's good enough for me. We usually get dirty looks when people find out what we are. Was it that way with Lloyd? Lloyd's the kind of guy who couldn't care less if you were a half-elf, or anything else for that matter. He is? Fishing? I... I have my doubts that we're gonna be fishing. So this is what you've been up to. No wonder you've been away from Isalia an awfully long time. With everything people are saying about Lloyd these days, I figured I should get the story straight from him. I see. Well, I'm glad we ran into each other. Yeah. By the way, notice anything different about me? Hmm. What could it be? Come on! Can't you see I'm taller? Take a good look! My voice is even a little deeper. You don't say. How much taller are you? A sixteenth of an inch. Huh. <sighs> <laughs> It's snowing in Triet. This is a desert. It must be related to all the strange weather we've been seeing everywhere. It was pretty cold in Isalia, too. But I was just here a few months ago, and it wasn't like this at all. And you really get around. I heard it started snowing here about a month ago. This may be due to a dormant Centurion's core. Would that cause the weather to change this dramatically? 
The natural balance could have been further disrupted by the awakening of another Centurion's Corps. Man, these Centurion's Corps sound like serious trouble. My deepest apologies. Kendama. Hey, Genus. Why do you use a kendama as your weapon? Lloyd made it and gave it to me for my birthday. It helps me concentrate when I use magic. So you just started using it as a weapon after that? Sort of. See, once when I was playing with it, the string broke and the ball hit Lloyd smack in the head. Really? Colette took one look at Lloyd passed out on the ground and said I'd found the perfect weapon. I thought these people were supposed to be friends. <laughs> You got what you got what silver gone. Sure. Buy those. Buy those. Stealth one. We're gonna buy some boots because I don't know what boots do. Or where they go. Man, it's giga expensive. Where do the boots go? Oh, they go here. I'm good, dog. Weapon shop. Ah. See this human shaped hole here? It's a priceless treasure of our town. Aren't you cold? Yeah, it's freezing. It's not even dark yet, and it's already this cold. How stupid is that? If we don't do something and fast, I'm gonna freeze up solid. Really, Genus? I thought the cold didn't bother you all that much. That was just when I was a kid. You still look pretty much like a kid to me. Who, who asked you? I'm gonna have my growth spurt any day now. Any day now. Snow in the desert. I do hope the desert's ecosystem will be all right. The majority of creatures that make their home here should be able to weather the cold, but still. I hadn't expected mana would be this far out of balance. Lord Ratatosk would be horribly dismayed at this state of affairs, I'm sure. But it's so romantic! Arm in arm with your significant other? It's the perfect place for a stroll. Significant other? Yeah. Maybe me and Persea could. I think we just got a glimpse of Genus' true colors. The twist he never will. Don't say that about Genus. He'll grow any day now. You just wait. I believe in him. All right. Let's see if we get to fish. Or if we get to faux fish. frozen how are we supposed to catch water monsters now do you want me to melt the ice with magic no you may fry the monsters before we can even get to them well then how about we cut a hole in the ice and fish them out okay we need to go get a fishing rod then no need for that I can transform into a fishing rod and we can use one of our monsters as bait you can actually do that? Of course. But do you really want to use one of our monsters as bait? Don't worry. I won't let it get eaten. Think of it as a lure and nothing more. Let's go with Tenebrae's plan. Lloyd could be getting away as we speak. We don't have time to waste. That's true. Go for it, Tenebrae. Then let's go to the lake surface.
Ready for some monster fishing? Yeah, let's do it. Splendid. First, allow me to transform into a rod. Next, select a location where you'd like to fish and cut a hole there. Right. Now choose a monster to use for the bait. Okay, this time... Let's try this one. Now let's get started. The cores must really be powerful if they can freeze an oasis in the middle of the desert like this. If this keeps up, it won't be long before you can hammer a nail with a frozen banana. A nail? With a banana? Yes. An experiment quite popular when I was a child. I wonder if they still do that sort of thing in schools these days. Not that I can remember. If you ask me, I'd rather eat the bananas than use them in experiments. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Ooh, banana. Press the X button when the fish icon is blinking in the green region. Oh, mana dried. Oh, what the heck? Mana dried was very correct here that I am going to be fishing. Whoa, I think I got a big one. It's heavy. Don't you dare let go of me. But you can do it, Emil. What is Emil sitting on? Everybody pull at the same time. Okay. Right. One, two, three. What the heck is that? That is a favorite of Bartex, our path blocking friend in the tree at Ruins. However, it's rather large. Hey guys, I think it's looking at us. Here it comes! Ready? Oh, that boss just... didn't know what hit him. Are we really going to carry this thing? It looks pretty heavy. It isn't dead yet. Why don't you form a pact with it? What? But we're going to feed it to the Bartek. If we can use it as a distraction, it doesn't have to actually get eaten. This is indeed true. Emil, please make a pact. I'll give it a try. Don't yell at me if I fail, okay? Finally, make some progress in the ruins. Right, let's hurry and go after Lloyd. Okay. Well, it's it's a story monster. Wow, Tenebrae, that was the first time I saw you turn into a fishing rod. Truly fascinating. What else can you change into? A dog? Please. I have been called the Centurion of a Thousand Faces. I could even become a jaw-droppingly beautiful woman if I so chose. A beautiful woman? Yeah, right. It will be a, a day of good fortune. I'm seeing that it is a lucky day to set out on a journey. You may even rediscover yourself. I'd never actually gone fishing before that. Oh, yeah? That's pretty rare for someone who grew up in Palma Costa. I mean, it's right on the water and all. Oh, yeah. Well, what did you think? It wasn't easy getting a bite. It was tricky knowing when to reel in and when to let out the line. That battle of wits between hunter and hunted is fishing's greatest joy. You'd never learn the thrill of the hunt fishing for Lady Marta, though. She's far too easy a catch. Well, excuse me! <laughs> Thank you. 
I have to admit that fishing minigame was certainly something to be caught off guard by. Fish is just like, I'm just chilling right here, then oh, I'm going over there. And I go, hold on a second, man, I wasn't ready. say Tenebrae is the one that's actually doing it excellent point I'll lure him away as soon as the monster turns its back slip past it Emil genus don't trip huh why do you say that you two worry me I'm sure you'll be just fine Emil be just fine too well then just let me know when you're ready shall we begin yes all right Let's go. Archelon, not that way. Uh. Archelon, I told you not to go that way. You bastard! Emil! Get up and run, now! Uh, okay. You looking for a fight? That's enough, Emil. Let's go. Uh, okay. There's a cat killed. That's right, get the stepping. Oh, we should be safe now. I can't believe that monster actually attacked us. Indeed. Of course, even the most passive monsters will become aggressive when presented with a potential meal. Thanks for saving me. Sure, no problem. Actually, I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I'm glad you're okay. Hey, Emil. The way you were before, was that Ratatos possessing you like in battle? Did I change again? It wasn't just a change, it was a full-on metamorphosis. Ratatos must be really powerful. Yeah. I sense Ignis's presence. There is indeed a Centurion's core here. Shall we keep moving before Lloyd snatches it up? Right, good idea. Let's go. Let's go. Alrighty, this dungeon. Maybe I need to get all close. I don't see anywhere to go. Up 
voller Sacke. Alle Dudes. Starting not to one shot things anymore. Sure. Welcome to the squad, Jabba. <laughs> Alright, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Rejected. Ready? It was a and forth all over the place. What a sucker. Sucker food. Ready? Demon face! Demon face! Won't work! serious to talk to you about, and I don't want Emil to hear. Lady Marta, what is it? Do you think Emil's gotten tired of me? He never puts me in battles anymore. This might be a good occasion to go on strike. How can I go on strike when I'm not allowed to fight in the first place? Yes, but you could go on a healing strike. No matter how grievous his injuries, you could refuse Emil first aid and withhold all of the gels. <laughs> but that would be cruel. Though I guess it's cruel he won't let me fight. Indeed. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ain't never going in my party, sucker. That was great, the healing strike. That was a that was a good skit. I like that one too. Makes me wonder, oh, I, dang it. Makes me wonder what, uh, what the next skit will be. Somebody learn the art heal? Marta. Fire Drake.
go up here first. Just in case. Did I make the right decision? Wow, everything is frozen over. You said Ignis's core is here. Is that the Centurion of Ice? No, fire. Wait, fire? But this place is freezing! I believe the core's loss of control is having a negative effect. The Centurion's power is working in reverse. That's crazy. So that's why it's so cold in here. Fire. What are you thinking, Rain? You said that there was a Centurion of Light in the basement of the Tower of Mana. That's right, but Lloyd took it from us. It seems that the Centurion's cores are located in the same places where the Summon Spirits used to be imprisoned. Tenebrae, are Centurions and Summon Spirits related in some way? No, nothing of the sort. Those Centurion's cores are located in places with unusually high concentrations of mana. The Centurions use their elemental attributes to counterbalance these mana anomalies. So, wouldn't that mean we'll find Centurion's cores by visiting all the places where the Summon Spirits were? There's no need to follow Lloyd. I was just thinking the same thing. Really? Maybe we can beat Lloyd to the cores now. I'm not sure about that. Lloyd knows where the Summon Spirits were located as well. If he's realized this, it doesn't give us any advantage. There's no way I'm losing to Lloyd. Genus. I understand how you feel, but the only one who can erase Emile's doubts about Lloyd is Lloyd himself. I know that, but it's still difficult. Rod sword. F. Just fire. Hmm, no save, huh? Save because there's more dungeon. Hold on there, dog. Hold on there, dog. Hold on there, dog. I received an item called a stone block. Oh, so that is Ignis's core. Amazing. It sparkles so magnificently. Oh. Here we go again. Again? So then I guess you've already seen my sister in Ruin Mode. Ruin Mode? Rain's an absolute maniac about ruins, ancient civilizations, and stuff like that. I'm not a maniac, I'm a researcher! Huh, yeah, right, right. Anyway, she always gets like this when she sees ruins. Hey, that's just like Emil when he's in his Ratatosk mode. Wait a minute. I'm not sure those two things have much to do with each other. Marta, I want to see the ritual for hatching a centurion. Perform it! R right!
Ignis is now awake. As Ignis's powers return, Emil, as a knight of Ratatosk, you should also awaken to new powers. So, um, now we need to recruit fire elemental monsters. That would gradually bring back Ignis's powers, and I should get stronger too, right? in order to save this world. We have to find all of the Centurion's cores so that we can wake up Ratatosk. Please, give us Lumen's core. All right, that's enough. Hand over Ignis's core. Marta, we have to take back Lumen's core by force. Why even try to reason with this murderous man who killed innocent people in Palma Costa in cold blood? Come on, Lloyd. You have to tell them. Tell them that you didn't attack Palma Costa. All of these rumors about you. You didn't do any of that stuff, right? Hmm. <sighs> Lloyd, please answer me! Yes, Lloyd. Is there something you can't tell us? What is it? Or perhaps the rumors about you are true? I don't have to answer you. Now then, hand over the Centurion's core. If you refuse me, I won't hesitate to take it by force. Grayson loved this game, repeating the same plot over and over. Oh, hey. would, it, would it make you feel any better that the game is also retreading the same locations that were in the first game as well? Does that does that excite you as well? Lloyd, right you see, I secretly went to Crossbell to become a police detective and changed my last name to Bannings. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then, and then, he decided that he was going to hatch up uh, a plot to... Uh, destroy the world and to do so he needed to uh, enlist the aid of Emperor Diaz
Uh, you only played Tales of the Abyss and you have seen this game for the first time, but holy crap, this seems bad. <laughs> I, I, I would say that it's not, it's not as, uh, it's, it's not as bad as you might think it is, but it's pretty low on the, the, uh, the, you know, like super enjoyable games to, you know, it, it's, it's pretty far down, you know, in the, we'll say like the, the line of where orange becomes red of, you know, like, okay, this is, this is not, the, these are where the, the games that I do not enjoy all too much would uh, go to. Ratatask mode, huh? It can't be easy making a pack that changes your whole personality on top of giving you new powers. Indeed. I'm sure Emil has his hands full simply controlling the power he receives from Ratatosk, which is why he often can't control his own emotions. Then he's just like Rain when she's in ruin mode, giving in to her desires, unable to control her maniac urges. Ow, that hurts! Just like me. Could that mean he has another self sealed away inside him? If so... What's wrong? It's nothing. Um, and, you know, that that's not to say that I think the, uh... You know, the game itself is... Isn't worth playing, per se. It's just that, like, aside from the combat, which, you know, if you like Tales games, you're probably going to enjoy the combat. And this this game has a nice little twist with the combat. Um, the the story, the locations, you know, the even even the characters, um, yeah, even like the old cast of characters, uh, don't really pull this one as far forward as one would like. And Emil is the worst protagonist of all times. So that says something. No! Such an invaluable cultural treasure. These poor ruins. Here comes ruin mode. Rain truly is a multifaceted individual. Are you really that upset that the ruins are ruined? Whoa, Emil, careful what you- Of course I am! Do you mean to say you're unaware of the cultural, the historic, the scientific value of the tree at ruins? <laughs> Listen closely. The tree at ruins first came to prominence two regenerations ago, when the spirit Ifrit summoned his hellfire and- Oh, great. We're in for it now. Uh... Uh... Hold on. I have to think of this one. Sometimes it just doesn't come to me as quickly as it should. Oh, we'll wait. Rain! Did you hear that? That sounded like a rayard. That's the flying thing Lloyd uses, right? Correct. That was the sound of it taking off. It seems he's already gotten away. If only we hadn't returned the ones we had before. You mean Lloyd's not the only one with a ray yard? We had them too, but we gave them back to their owner once the journey of world regeneration ended. Though it looks like Lloyd's borrowed one again. The fact that Lloyd can fly anywhere puts us at a big disadvantage in the race for the Centurion's cores. But if he knew the cores were at the same places as the Summon Spirits, he would be finding them much more quickly. He must not have realized it yet. That might work to our advantage. I won't lose to him. Emil, hold on. What happened in Palma Costa? That's just not Lloyd. It's not just about what happened in Palma Costa. What do you mean? He wouldn't even explain himself to you. He's hurting his own friends. Genus, Rain, Colette, all of you are good and kind. Good people, who are worried about him. He should be honored just to have friends like you. Emil, Thanks for being concerned about us. Regardless, Lloyd was never the sort to turn his back on his friends. 
Alright, Tactical Banana Hunter. Uh, you were searching for Tales of the Abyss streams, but no one was playing it. You still have to complete Tales of the Abyss for real. Used an emulator and have to reset your PC, and because of that, you lost your save right before the final boss. Oof! Oof! That is rough times. Giga rough times. It stopped snowing. The Centurion's cores are as powerful as summon spirits. I wonder if this means the weather around here will return to normal. The snow will stop. But things won't truly return to their natural state until Lord Ratatosk awakens. Rain, can I ask you something? Certainly. What is it? Can you tell me where all the Summon Spirits are located? You're going to look for the Centurion's cores, then? That's... what we told you our objective is, yeah. The only way that we can stop the strange weather and avoid the destruction of the world is by hatching the Centurions and waking Ratatosk. The cores are the reason we were following Lloyd in the first place. The closest location is the cave where we found Celsius. It's near Flanor. As for the others, here, I'll mark them on your map. Emil, is it all right with you if we go to Flanor instead of following Lloyd? That's fine. Since in order to avenge everyone, I'll need to get a lot stronger first. Rain, what about us? Are we going to leave Lloyd like that? Now that we're together, maybe it would be best to see what else we can find out about Lloyd. Okay, I'm with you, Rain. Then we'll accompany you to the port in Azuld. We can figure out our next move once we arrive there. Then let's head for Azuld together. Yep, looks like you won't be rid of us just yet. Um... I guess... Uh, I do have plans to play Tales of the Abyss. It's a game that I have not played to completion. Uh, and I have it on the 3DS, and so I want to play more games on my 3DS since I have a capture for it now. But I also didn't enjoy Tales of the Abyss uh, for the brief amount of time that I played it originally, so uh, I, I have no idea when I would be getting around to that one. Maybe next year. Too small for me, I'm afraid. Huh? A size four, that is. <laughs> Rain! Ready when you are. Christmas star! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Marta, what's Azul like? It's a small seaside town that thrives on fishing. They have the second largest yearly catch in all of Silverant. The different seafood products they make there are known the world over. And everyone who visits buys Azuld's most famous souvenir, red blowfish cakes. Wait, why do I know all this stuff anyway? <laughs> Lady Marta, you have discovered one of the Centurion of Darkness's seven hidden talents. I call it Midnight Hypno Study. It would appear my hours of whispering random facts in your ear as you sleep have finally paid off. Isn't that sort of a useless hidden talent? Seriously! Brainwash me into knowing something useful next time! <laughs> Leave me, but you did abuse quick saves back then, and now you have the chance to beat it without cheating on hard difficulty. Might use quick saves once you reach the casino. Uh. Interesting. How far did I get? I have no idea. Uh. Somewhere between 6 and 20 hours, I would hazard a guess. Izuld. What's wrong, Rain? You look sort of pale. It's nothing. I just have some bad memories of it. It may not be much, but I'll do what I can to protect you. Thank you. Though some things you can't really protect against. Calm down, Marta. Count to ten. Marta? Are you okay? I'm fine. I made up my mind. Things are different between us now. So... I'll just... Being popular is no cakewalk, huh? Biscuits. <laughs> oh, okay. Not very far? Yeah, it's, it's a Tales game, you know. 
60 hours or so. I remember let's take a moment to rest here i remember meeting a fawn master or fawn something and that fawn person may have joined my party briefly maybe you know i don't know good idea come to think of it i'm pretty hungry okay i'll fix us some food perhaps i could help i'll help too uh, maybe it'd be best if you two set this one out. People are going to eat this food after all. What did you say? Just what do you mean by that? I'd say it, but I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Hey, Emil, can you get some firewood? Sure. Emil. Richter! Behind you! Huh? Oh no. These are the moments that I have to be afraid of. Where I actually see. I do have to. I do have to buy equipment and all of this stuff. I have to be prepared for these. That's it? One on one moments. Stay on your guard, you fool. It's coming. Go get him, Richter. Ha! Mortal Spring! Too easy. The arts. Ravaging Tiger and a Blade Fury. And uh Dark Radiant. Demon Fang! Too easy! Ravaging Tiger! Like that one. Mortal Summer! <laughs> Dark Radiance! Oh, I don't like that one either. Mortal Spring! Enduring Summer! Won't work! Really? Mortal Summer! Enduring Summer! Mortal Spring! No damage! Enduring Summer! Move! Mortal Spring! Move! It's over! I did use the correct move. I used it at the wrong time, though. Uh, so I beat those woods that the name of that location rings a bell to me, that's for sure. Okay, you're healing me now. Won't work. Demon Fang. Demon Fang. Okay, no, I do have to press both. Uh, did I get aboard that? I I think I did. I Part of me seems to remember some sort of uh, uh, you know, gargantuan vehicle of some sort. Too easy. Too easy. Move! Too easy. Why not combo that would That does no damage. He's taking forever. 
Really wish that would do more damage. The first location, you go outside the small village. Grow up. Damn it. Not a hundred percent sure if that rings a bell or not, but that was scary. I definitely remember leave like I definitely left the first town. I was on the world map running around and stuff like that. I had a bunch of party members. So that's Ratatosk's power? Uh, yes. Looks like that last monster had a kid. Wait! What? It's not attacking us. What's the harm in letting it live? <sighs> Please! You're so naive. Richter, Ratatosk isn't a demon lord. If you just listen to what Marta and Tenebrae have to say, you'd... Ratatosk is my enemy. Why? Uh, uh, what is this? What is... Emil, what's wrong? I don't know. I've been having these strange visions, memories. Memories? Where you're trying to kill me, and... Easy. Don't try to talk. It's going away. Hmm. You should hurry back to Marta and get some rest. I'll let the two of you go. For today. How are you even here? Why are you being so nice to me? I don't recall being nice. Now get out of my sight before I change my mind. Okay. And don't worry about those visions. It was probably a dream. They say dreams where you die are good luck. Richter! They say that. Go already! Right! Took you long enough. Yeah, I got attacked by this monster. Oh, are you hurt? No, sorry if I made you worry. So, where's the firewood? Uh, I'm sorry. Chapter 4. Hey, do you guys smell something? It smells sort of familiar. Like someone's cooking fish or something. Izul does have a booming fishing industry. It smells like it's burning. It smells more like someone's incinerating fish than cooking it. Ah, I get it. It smells like Rain's cooking. What do you mean by that? I interpret it to mean you are a poor cook, Rain. How dare you! Forget about that. Let's go find the source of the smell. Do that, we can go inside the inn and save because this, where well, I'm calling it quits for today. It is Taco Tuesday. I gotta cut up all this stuff and get it all uploaded so that I can go get me some tacos. 
But with that, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I don't see anybody streaming, so I will be back tomorrow, 7 a.m. Pacific, to continue with some more. Uh, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. The worst protagonist of all time. Peace.